Now, three people have been confirmed dead with two others in critical condition after sustaining gunshot wounds in renewed clashes between two Kumba farming communities, uh, Birimba and Yiyamba, over a parcel of land in the Gushehu district of the northern region. Dozens of houses and foodstuff have been set on fire in the latest dispute. One of the injured in critical condition has been transferred to the Tamale Teaching Hospital for further medical attention with the other victim of gunshot wounds responding to treatment at the Gushehu District Hospital. The latest violence clashes between the two farming communities, uh, Brimba and Yiyamba, comes exactly a week after the Gushehu District Chief Executive led a team of NADMO officials to present relief items to displaced victims of an earlier clash between the two that resulted in the death of a 35-year-old farmer. Northing Regional uh, Correspondent um, Hashmin fathers this report. He spoke to the police. Them by the... Yes, I can confirm to you that uh, the... Clashes that have been about two weeks ago between the Yamba and Meriba communities. Yes, it's part of the game. And as we speak, three persons are you know, reported dead, they've been confirmed dead, and the police have gone for the bodies, and the bodies have just been transported to the Bushiku government hospital for preservation. Two persons have also been injured, critically. One as we speak now, there is a the theater being worked on by some of the medical officers. Well, our Northern Regional Correspondent Hashmin uh, joins us now on the telephone line. Also, the Gushegu District Chief Executive Al-Haji Al-Hassan Fuseni is also on the other line. Uh, good evening, gentlemen, and thanks for joining us. Let me start with you, Hashmin. Uh, what report are you getting, and how, how is the situation now on the ground? Well, thank you very much, mm. Steve. Uh, a while ago, I spoke to the police public relations officer for Northern Region, ASD Ebenezer Tete, mm. and he confirmed the number of dead and the injury to me. Now, what he, he also he told me was that, that the Northern Regional Police Command have called for reinforcement from GNG to beat up security in the in the two farming communities mm. over there. So, so, so Hashmin, Hashmin let, let me come in. I mean, this means that if uh, the, the police, regional police is asking for in reinforcement of police strength from Yendi to Gushegu area, it means the situation is bad on the ground as of now that we are talking. It's not really stable, is it? Exactly, Right, so what else can you report? I know you've given us a great narrative about what has happened, but as of now that you're speaking to us, what is the situation on the ground? Well, uh, at the moment, calm has been restored to the place, the place but, uh, but uh, fear still lingers in the minds of some of the residents there. Okay. Uh, I'm also, uh, what I've also gathered is that scores of residents have also fled the, the two communities because the fear is just that there could be some kind of repressor attack. Mm -hmm. Now the police themselves have positioned themselves uh, between the two communities and they have been patrolling the two communities to ensure that there is no any further escalation of the violence in any in other neighboring communities within the two farming communities. Right. Uh, thank you very much, Hashmi. Mohammed is our Northern Regional Correspondent, uh, giving us update uh, from the Northern Region. The District Chief Executive, Al-Haji Al-Hassan Fussein, is also on the line. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my brother. Uh, the situation doesn't look good, is it? Well, somehow good now, because uh, Kama has been restored, and uh, we have the critical up at uh, the two communities. Now, as, as, I know that you would be the chairman of the DICEC. What are you doing from the security standpoint to give people assurance that there will be peace restored and those who are fleeing might possibly think about returning? Well, the assurance is that we have had several dialogue with the people and uh, the, the, it, it is on uh, reoccurring. I did a second time uh, on a different parcel of land. Uh, sometime last uh, two weeks, we had a similar problem between the two communities, which was resolved at the direct level.
Mm. We put a ban on the two parcels of land, and they were all agreed to that. But this uh, particular French uh, violence erupted as a result of another piece parcel of land that one of the other factions acquired, tried to use for this year's farming, mm. which resulted to this. The others objected to, and a uh, misunderstanding ensued and uh, led to this just done this morning. So the security has been there. We have positioned them there as uh, as him as supported ahead in TV. Mm. We have been there where the security is there as we speak. We have reinforcement from UND positioned in between the two. The mm. member and uh, Yamba, they are very close communities. Just the same that is, uh, we have the same dividing them. So the security have positioned themselves there. Uh, the shooting which took, uh, uh, you know, which happened in the morning, Around 12 o'clock, what is nothing else is been done. I mean, it's right. going on there. No shooting. Right. So it's going on. So, so the families of these people who died, have you uh, interacted with them yet? No, 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 no. The situation is still dicey. You know, uh, we the fighting started this morning. So what we can do now is to make sure that the situation uh, comes to normalcy before we can get in touch with uh, the family. And, and do, you you, know, do you actually have a situation report as, as to exactly what started this and what led to the deaths of these people? Have you been briefed? Yes. You know, we've had a series of direct meetings on this particular matter. And we have even briefed, uh, you know, information or what do you call it? We have sent this information to WorkSet. And we've been deliberating on that. we got certain solutions to that. And this one is something like a, uh, something that has taken us an away. And I'm very sure that uh, within the next two days, mm. once come out to be restored, we will get to the bottom of this thing and get the people on board to uh, at least uh, get to uh, settle it once and for all. Mm. Are you worried? I mean, this back and forth of uh, disputes resuming and, uh, you know, people losing their life. You must be a worried man as, as, as DC. Certainly. Uh, you know, it is not good to lose even one person, uh, let alone three at a school. You know, and even several homes spent. You know, uh, it is not the best situation. But what can we do? That is what happens. And when it does happen, we will have to take measures, take heart, and then go into the matter and see how possible we can quickly uh, resolve that. Which my security, they are very, very busy. I just recently, that is why by 12 noon, before 12 noon, everything has ceased. And so we are worried, and then we'll make sure. You saw me on telly. I had spoken to them several times. Mm. We went there, and then they assured me that would not happen. And so uh, it, it has taken us by surprise. But right. the, 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 the security is doing everything possible to bring everything to normal. Right, thank you very much, uh, Bushegu District Chief Executive Al Haji yes, Al Hassan sir. Fuseni, assuring all of us that uh, the situation in the Gushegu following the shooting and the death of three people there is under control. You also heard from our reporter Hashmin Mohammed. My name is Stephen Anti, and that's where we bring the curtains down for today's big story. We'll be right back with an interactive segment. Stay with us.